brought to you by Charity Mobile, the phone company that supports life and family. 5% of your monthly plan price goes to your favorite charity. Buy the way you believe at CharityMobile.com and use promo code TRADITION. Francis just released a book on his own life, an autobiography. Probably ghostwritten by somebody like Austin Ivere, the professional Francis fan fiction writer, who has been the official biographer for Francis and has helped him pen several books over the course of his alleged pontificate. But another book has come out, not just this biography, which people have heard about, and he said some really snarky things about traditionalists and did a real whitewashing of his own history. And he's got another book coming out called El Successor. It's an interview-length book. And these interviews are always eye-popping, and some excerpts have already been leaked. And... Of course, he has a lot of spicy things to say, none of which are good, and we should go over them, <laughs> because the people he talks about here, you'll want to pray for, and you'll want to pray for Francis to have a softening of his heart. He's turned desire towards Archbishop Gonsvine and to Cardinal Robert Seurat. Seurat, who I don't know how anybody can be angry at Cardinal Seurat, the man radiates peace. You may... You know, disagree with him on some of his takes on the post-conciliar era of the church and his attitude towards the liturgy or something. People can disagree with his opinions, but finding him to be a problem is kind of troubling. The man is probably one of the most peaceful prelates in the church. And yet Francis, well, has nothing really. He has some semi-positive things to say about him, but it's but there's a lot of implication here. He doesn't apparently think Cardinal Seurat is that intelligent. If you've read anything he's written or listened to my recordings of his very few letters he's released over the last few years, you'll find that Cardinal Seurat is many things, but a dumb person he is not. So let's talk about this story today. Two articles to work with today. The first is from Gloria TV, which provides us this headline. Francis, Cardinal Seurat is bitter and Archbishop Godsfein has hurt me. Sorry, I can't take, uh, I can't take seriously... Francis complaining that Gar Gonsvine hurt him. You're, you're supposed to be the Roman pontiff, the rock of which the church is built on, the sign of unity for the faith. You were the successor of Peter, allegedly. And as such, you can take some criticism. You can take some, uh, you can take some, uh, from what he certainly perceives, he can take some, uh, opportunistic work on the part of Gonsfine. I'm not saying that's what Gonsfine did. Certainly that's how, that's how Francis sees the things that Archbishop Gonsfine did. Now, if you don't know who Gonsfine is, quick refresher, he was the personal secretary for Benedict XVI, and then when he quote-unquote resigned, you got Francis in, and he became the personal secretary for both Francis and, Gon and Benedict. And then for a little while, and then Francis dismissed him from his personal service and made him essentially be the handler for Benedict. Whether he was the handler for him or his friend, uh, looks like he was more his friend than anything else. But there's been controversy surrounding him. And uh, one of the things that Gonsfine did was release a book and announced it even before he was done serving Benedict and before he'd been kicked out of Rome, on what Benedict thought about a lot of things. And this really upset Francis. That book was released last fall in English in the United States. You can find a copy of it on Amazon. Just search his name. Uh, anyway, he uh, has never made friends with Francis. Francis fired him unceremoniously and removed him from the Roman Curia. He didn't even give him a job. He was one of those canceled bishops. In a time where there's a shortage of bishops, Gon's fine was canceled. There are plenty of Openings across Europe for a German-speaking prelate who speaks multiple languages like Archbishop Gonsfein does. Plenty of dioceses that need a local ordinary, and Gonsfein was kicked to the curb because he did not tow the Bergolian line. From the article, quote, Archbishop Georg Gonsfein, quote, did some very difficult things to me, the vengeful Francis claims in his interview book El Successor. His example... When he replaced a head of a Vatican department whose name he didn't mention, the decision sparked controversy. In the midst of all the noise, the secretary took the initiative to take him to see Benedict because this person wanted to greet him. Since the retired pope was very friendly, he accepted. The problem was that the photo of this meeting was circulated, as if Benedict had reacted to my decision. 
Francis complains that, quote, honestly, it wasn't right. But it is unfair to blame Gonsfein, who was Benedict's the 16th secretary and had a professional duty to forward the request to his superior. It seems that this case doesn't concern the head of a Vatican department, but Monsignor Livio Molina, president for the John Paul II Institute for the Family in Rome. A longtime collaborator and personal friend of Ratzinger, whom Francis dismissed because he was competent and refused to make truth dependent on politics. The sacking of Molina fell directly back on Ratzinger because he had personally wanted him at the John Paul II Institute. Asked about the books published around the funeral of, of former Benedict XVI, Francis replied that, quote, they have caused me great pain. Apparently, Francis is talking about Monsignor Gonsfein's book, Only the Truth. Francis is known for emotionalizing things and taking them personally. Gonsfein, quote, has turned me upside down by saying things that are not true. It is very sad, Francis whines. In fact, in his book, Gonsfein writes about Francis in a very submissive way, mentioning only slight tensions between Francis and Benedict. But Francis interprets this as an alleged lack of nobility and humanity, in response to the real lack of nobility and humanity, end quote. If you're not aware, um, Gloria TV's got a bias. They do. They, they, they don't hide it. I mean, obviously, you know, lack of humility language here and vengeful here, you know, that stuff. They don't hide their bias. They're very upfront with it, which is why I like using them. They don't hide it. But nothing they say there is inaccurate either. Gonsfine was treated like garbage by Francis, as are so many other bishops. Uh, last year, late last year, I did a video at some point on just going over all the bishops who were given the Bishop Strickland treatment, who were all canceled unceremoniously. And there are different levels of canceling they, that some of them received. Some were, some bishops and high profile priests in the Roman Curia were sent packing and given jobs in the most remote dioceses possible, far away from each other, from their working colleagues, and who may have also been dismissed. Others were given no jobs whatsoever. Some were forced into retirement early, as was the case of Cardinal Burke, uh, Bishop Strickland and some others. There was a whole like different level system on how they were dealt with. Speaking of those here, in the Gloria TV article, it details some of his thoughts on Cardinal Robert Seurat. They kind of touch on it, and then another source we'll use here in a second goes into more detail. So let's get to Cardinal Seurat, because he doesn't have very good things to say. So back to Gloria TV, quote, He also speaks badly of Cardinal Robert Seurat, whom he calls a good man and a man of prayer only to claim that he has been, quote, manipulated by separatist groups, implying that Seurat is an idiot. But Francis's anger at Seurat is far from over. Sometimes I have the impression that working in the Roman Curia has made him a little bitter. Once again, the sentimental Francis projects his own negative feelings onto others, end quote. So that article doesn't really do what was done to Cardinal Seurat any justice. He has a lot more to say on it, and... You may recall a lot of this revolves around a scandal involving Benedict XVI again, because of course it does, where B Cardinal Seurat was involved in writing a book that was co-authored by Benedict XVI. Benedict apparently re reacted negatively to his name being on the book. Um, some kind of miscommunication was there or something, but the book was published eventually, although I think Benedict's name was taken off in most countries. And it, of course, was uh, much clearer in the things it contained than anything coming from Francis and much more orthodox than anything coming from Francis. And Francis took it as a slight against him, hence why Cardinal Seurat was thrown under the bus there. But for more details on that, we go to LifeSite, who reported on this with this headline. Pope Francis says appointing Cardinal Seurat to Roman Curia may have been a mistake. Pope Francis claimed that Cardinal Seurat, a strong critic of fiducia supplicants, was manipulated by separatist groups as head of the Vatican's liturgy office, and called the African prelate bitter. It's another weird word, way to describe Cardinal Seurat. You can, again, there's many things you can describe him as, but bitter seems out of character. But again, Francis the Great and Merciful you know, is giving off-the-cuff remarks in a long-form interview that's going to be turned into a book that was actually published in Italian, I believe, or Spanish, on, in, on the 3rd of April. Whether it'll be translated in English, none of us really knows. But here's what he had to say, really, about Cardinal Robert Seurat. Quote, Pope Francis said the appointing, that appointing Cardinal Robert Seurat to the Congregation for Divine Worship may have been a mistake. In a book-length interview titled The Successor, which is said to be published in Spanish on April 3rd, Francis addressed his relationship with his predecessor, Pope Benedict XVI. 
During his interview with Spanish journalist Javier Martinez Brokal, Francis said, Maybe I made a mistake in naming Cardinal Seurat a prefect for the now dicastery for divine worship. From there he was manipulated by separatist groups, but he is a good man, the pontiff continued. At times I have the impression that working in the Roman Curia made him a little bitter, Francis said about Cardinal Seurat. The African cardinal is known for his fidelity to church teaching and tradition. However, he rarely criticized Francis during his stint as the prefect for the Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments from 2014 to 2021. Recently, though, Cardinal Seurat strongly condemned the idea of James Martin blessings put forth in the heterodox Vatican Declaration Fiducia Supplicant, stating that the document proposes a, quote, heresy that gravely undermines the church, the body of Christ, because it is contrary to the Catholic faith and tradition. He said that he was, quote, very proud of the African bishops for rejecting fiducia supplicants. Francis commented on Cardinal Seurat in the context of talking about the 2020 book, From the Depths of Our Hearts, Priesthood, Celibacy, and the Crisis of the Catholic Church. The book, Defending Priestly Celibacy, co-authored by Cardinal Seurat and Pope Benedict XVI, was widely received as criticism of Francis and a rare interjection of the retired pontiff. The book was published ahead of the highly anticipated post-apostolic exhortation on the Synod of the Bishops on the Amazon, where the possible ordination of merry men, so-called very poor body, was discussed. End quote. And that's probably part of why, or if not the main reason why, Francis does not like Cardinal Seurat. That and the few times since 2020 that Cardinal Seurat has said some negative things. But there's also another thing that Cardinal Seurat did. He was essentially sort of a stumbling block for liturgical changes in the church. He dragged his feet and resisted any attempt to change the liturgy of the church again to come down against the, the traditional mass. He spoke in defense of the traditional mass many times. He also refused or had expressed some skepticism about developing new forms of the Novus Ordo liturgy for the enculturated local populations, indigenous populations in various parts of the world. He was unceremoniously gotten rid of, and then they began work on things like Traditionis Custodis, the Zaire use rites, and all these other weird things that the Vatican has done to the liturgy in the last four years now, since Cardinal Seurat has been gone. But I'm curious what you think. Do you Are you surprised that Francis uh, just un decided to unleash bitterness against Archbishop Gonsfein and Cardinal Robert Seurat in his interview that is being turned into a book? Whenever Francis does these long interviews, do you kind of get a little nervous about the things he's just going to uh, spout off about in <laughs> kind of his typically unhinged kind of way? Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, please, and hit like and subscribe if you haven't. It does help. So to sharing this on social media, that helps a lot, too. And as always, pray for the church. I'm Anthony Stein. Ave Maria.